we have to get rid of incompetence because a lot of the money we borrow is wasted through incompetence. Secondly, corruption. We still have the money that we borrow. So it doesn't matter if the donors, development partners, were to have given us the money we borrowed as grants, we still will not be able to make it because we still have and the, the rest will waste it in incompetence. So what we do now, um, we've had, we've picked information that some powerful individual bondholders are not excited about this idea and are preparing some action against government. What do you anticipate would happen? Look, the government should go back to the drawing board, okay? This is the first time I'm hearing of domestic uh, haircut. It's never happened before. Look, if uh, you were at any financial instruments, bonds, that anything in financial, anything you haven't put into brick and mortar, if you have 50 million Ghana cities, when the city was five to one, it was uh, 10 million dollars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yes, no, but right? You can import anything, but no. uh, 10 million dollars. When the dollar hit 10, we are 5 million. Just like evaporation, 5 million has evaporated. So most Ghanaians cannot cut off our head. We don't have a head to be given a haircut. If it's a wrong equivocation that the external bondholders are being uh, given a haircut, so we should also they are going to be paid dollars, their principal, and euros. We are going to be paid depreciated cities. 50% of it is gone. And on top of that, the 40% inflation, the 100 cities left in my pocket, Ken has put his hand in it and taken 40 out of it. I've only 60 in real time to spend. How do you go and inflict this? What would me a brand soon? management team in the Ministry of uh, Finance. When uh, Kufu and Polakwa was there, Bank of Ghana and Minister of Finance set up a joint debt management team. There was another joint energy team, Bank of Ghana Finance, working together closely. The vice president was a member. What happened to it? 